You know, for being a generation of people that was already glued to their screens all the time, Pokemon Go is gonna make that a whole lot worse, but this time around, kinda for the better. So it hasn't even been a week yet since Pokemon Go was released, and you can already see the phenomenon of this game in full effect. And I don't just mean that in the sense that this is a fun and addicting game that people are going to play and really enjoy for a while, but more so in the sense that in some capacity, at least a small capacity, this is changing how people are actually living their lives for a little bit. I would be willing to bet that there are literally thousands of people out there that this past weekend, just from walking around and trying to catch Pokemon and visit various Pokestops, that they burned more calories in a single weekend than they had in years. And regardless of the fact that many of those people are indeed still glued to a screen while out and about, being glued to a screen while out and about is still a little bit more productive in some ways than being glued to a screen while you're on your couch or your bed at home for an entire weekend. And in a lot of ways, this is kind of like the real life manifestation, or at least the closest we could ever get to, of what Pokemon has always been, going out and exploring the world and trying to catch these little animals. Obviously, they're not in real life, it's just a digital format, but it is still really cool and you gotta give them props for the idea on this whole thing. And eventually those props will come in the form of dollar bills, absolute truckloads of dollar bills. But even still, when you see posts online about things like a mother who has a son that has social anxiety disorder and eventually a vitamin D deficiency from not wanting to ever go outside, who suddenly wants to go outside and explore even just the backyard or little bits of the neighborhood, just slightly venturing off from that comfort zone to go and try and catch Pokemon, that is really cool. And on top of that, you have Pokestops and gyms at landmarks throughout a city to where people are gonna go out, they're gonna explore their city and they're gonna see see things and places within their own municipality that they've never seen before that they're going to go and they're going to actually see them. Now, they might not necessarily be there for that thing, but they will at least become aware that it's there because of trying to go out there and play Pokemon and just rack up a couple items. And even if later down the road, they're not playing Pokemon anymore, that impact might still stay with them of, oh, hey, yeah, I saw this cool place once while I was exploring playing Pokemon. Wouldn't mind going over there one more time. Just a quick example of that, earlier tonight I was in downtown Salt Lake City and there's this small tiny city park that had four Pokestops in it, all with small little aspects of this park that are definitely meaningful to somebody and there's somebody else out there that eventually is going to go to that for the purpose of a Pokestop, but they might read the little bit of information on the plaque and gain some knowledge while they're waiting for the Pokestop to be accessible again and to get more items. There was people riding those rental bikes all around downtown. I saw more of those out and about tonight in a one hour span than I had ever seen at any given time. And this was on a Sunday night around Salt Lake City, not a, you know a weekend night where there was a big event going on. So that's just the kind of thing. And again, when I say the real world manifestation of things, people riding around bikes, trying to catch Pokemon. It's really freaking cool. And it's also important to keep in mind that this is just the very first week of the game. It obviously is very, very buggy. I'm sure other people have experienced plenty of the same issues that I have, and it has been very frustrating at times when I'm wandering around, I'm trying to catch a Pokemon, I might have him in my Pokeball just sitting there, and the game freezes, or a lot of times I can't even move around the map. And I'm sure those will get fixed, hopefully very soon. But in the meantime, I think all of this is 100% for the better of getting people outside and getting people exploring and the way they've done it with putting the Pokestops at certain landmarks specific to even small aspects of a city park is absolutely fantastic and you really got to tip your hat to Nintendo for making this happen. I, I'm really interested to see where this all goes from here. I doubt we'll ever have something like actual hard data about the number of calories burned or cases of heart disease prevented, but in the long run, it's just gonna be good because people are gonna get out there and you see other people, they may be glued to their phones, but you can be like, hey, yeah, you guys are catching Pokemon, that's awesome. They might point you to where they caught something a little bit rare just up the street and, and talk about building a sense of community too. So anyway, that's just a few thoughts I had about Pokemon Go. I wanted to share them about uh, the, the good that I can already see happening from it. Uh, plus, it's been fun so far. I'm excited for the bugs to get worked out. I'm excited to see where the game kind of progresses from here and what they do with it. But if, if you haven't played it already, I would highly recommend it if you're at all a fan of the Pokemon series. But I would be eager to hear what other people's experiences have been with this, uh, what your thoughts have been, and maybe things you'd like to see. So feel free to share those
those in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit it with a like button. I always appreciate that. Subscribe if you want more videos like this one. I don't know how much Pokemon Go I'll talk in the future, but you never know. Something could happen and we could talk some Pokemon. But above all else, everybody, thanks so much for watching.